I have been always a fan of animated movies ever since I was a kid. A sample of my favorite animated movies are How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, Spirited Away, and Nine. But as a Filipino, I would like to know if there are Filipino animated films. My name is Zona, and there are Filipino animated films. For our list, I would like to arrange it from oldest to latest films. Because it is oldest, I would like to include some of films which has animation right at the end of the video. Now, let's start it. First on our list is Urduha from 2008. The story is all about Urduha, a legendary warrior princess of Pangasinan, set around the 13th century. She gets in love with Lim Hang, a Chinese pirate, and defends themselves against Wang, a nemesis of Lim Hang. The movie is very good. It shows a lot about the culture and its people, also the social hierarchy of the time. The animation is great. To the point, the animation can be mistaken for a Disney film. The sound design is very good. This film is created by all Filipino group of animators made using traditional animation process. I highly recommend watching this film. Next on our list is Dayo sa Mundo ng Elementalia from 2008. This is a story about Boo Boy, an 11-year-old boy, on a mission to save his grandparents after get abducted and brought to the Elementalia, a mysterious place filled with magical creatures from Filipino mythology. The story is great but the visuals is very questionable. The idea of making use of 3D for backdrop is great, especially in Elementalia world, but the 3D drop for the real world is very questionable makes me think at first if I would like to continue watching the film right at the beginning. I think the best thing about the film is the sound design and the, the dialogue between the characters because they are very genuine and good. This film is considered to be the first all-digital and full-length animated feature film of the Philippines using 2D in the animation and 3D in backdrop as mentioned before. Next on our list is RPG Metanoia from 2010. This is a story about an 11 year old boy who discovered a virus from his favorite MMORPG called Metanoia that can affect people online. He is on a mission with his friends to save the world before taking over the real world. The story is very unique for a Filipino film. It has a nostalgic feeling, also filled with cultural references, both foreign and local. The animation is excellent compared to standards today. You will only notice that it is old by its frame rate. My only problem with the film is, is some of the voice chosen for the characters are not so good, especially the villain. Also, the sound design is something is not so great in some moments of the movie. The film is considered to be the first full-length Filipino animated film presented in 3D. I highly recommend watching the film. Next on our list is Paglisan from 2018. This is about a mid-aged couple Crisanto and Dolores who they try to survive together. Their marriage is falling apart because Crisanto has diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease while Dolores is struggling with depression. To be honest, the movie is not to my taste but the, the story is very nice. The animation has a style that makes it special. The watercolor looks makes you feel fading away while making it meaningful. I don't know how to describe the sound design of the film but it has certain mood and feeling. Just try it for yourself. Next on our list, Hayaka from 2020. This is about Mifa, a pretty pussycat sales lady and her challenging adult life. She is tormented between her boyfriend and sexual interests, essentially a soap opera. The story is very crazy for me at least, but very true in my country. The animation is excellent, especially in the comedy part of the film. The sound design is also great. This film considered to be the first Filipino animated adult film. Just try it for yourself and supervise your child. Strictly parental guidance is advice. Now for the list of special cases. Saving Sally. Manang Biring. Cleaners. The Missing. 
those are the list of Filipino animated films. What do you think about the list? I hope you like it. By the way, I would like to advertise the lovers of Studio Heartbreak. I'm not paid, I just want to support them. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Bye.